Okay, so the guys want to be talk about this bow, which as you can see, while I was stringing it, completely collapsed. Okay, so I've had this bow now for a number of years, and it's been to about five games, and each time I strung it, it's kind of felt, you know, will it, will it break or not? But it's always been successful, and it's always been a good end result. Uh, so, what I'm thinking is that pipe bows, because they're hollow, they're basically a hollow flattened tube, they might have a tendency over time to, you know, wear a weakness and actually do do this. On saying that, they got they got their good points. They're really cheap. They cost, you know, they cost the materials are hardly anything. It's only even if only makes one for you, it's still going to be half the price of a wooden bow, maybe even less, a lot less. So, and they're very, very light. So if you're going to be carrying one all day, that's really easy. So light, easy, and cheap. And I also know of some games where they've outfitted sort of large skirmish groups with these and been fairly successful. So, yeah, good for numbers, good for cheap, but perhaps not as long-lasting as solid wood. Would you buy another one? Um, I probably... Ooh. Tom just asked me if I buy another one, and I'm going, hmm, not sure at this point. I'd probably... Uh, not sure. Um, I probably want to make the last a bit longer than this one has. <laughs> but if I was outfitting a crew for one or two events, I'd go this way. No doubt about it. Okay, that's Rob for our book with, with Stu and Tom behind the camera laughing at me. <sighs> Signing out.